648 in your Sunrise Smart Start. We start with breaking updates here. A Rochester police officer injured overnight, hit by a car during a traffic stop. This happened a little after midnight This on the Bausch Street Bridge. Police tell us while they were speaking to a driver pulled over for traffic violations, the driver hit the gas and ran into one of the responding officers. That car and driver later found on Brambury Drive. The driver, a man 26 years old, is charged with reckless endangerment and obstructing governmental administration. The injured officer was treated on scene. Also breaking overnight, a call for shots fired in a crash near 490. That was after 2 a.m. RPD says officers first got a call for multiple people shot on Monroe Avenue. Turns out no one was actually wounded by gunfire. Police then learned a woman got into a fight with an unknown suspect on Spring Street. The suspect also damaged her car. The victim fled in the vehicle with three other people. They ended up crashing on Monroe near an on-ramp to 490. They all have minor injuries. No arrests have been made. State troopers are also working working that case. We have a delay here due to frost. Chilly temps here right at the freezing mark for round one of the PGA Championship at Oak Hill Country Club. The first tee times were set for 7 o'clock. It's at least 8.15, so we're adding an hour 15 once the driving range, chipping area, that all opens. Still hasn't happened. Some of the top featured groups on your screen there, those were the original tee times for Scotty Scheffler, a betting favorite. Off hole 10 again at 8, so we're looking at at least 9.30, 10 o'clock for them. With Brooks Kepka, a four-time major winner, nearly got the Masters this year. They're with Gary Woodland. Behind them, it'll be Roy McIlroy, defending champ Justin Thomas, and PGA Championship 2020 winner Colin Morikawa. In the afternoon wave, off the first tee, uh, originally scheduled for just before two, Dustin Johnson, Xander Shoffley with Tyrell Hatton. Behind them, Phil Mickelson, Ricky Fowler, Patrick Cantley. Again, we're adding hour and a half, two hours to these, especially in the morning. Again, the earliest it could start with 8.15, looking more like 9 o'clock maybe after that. Our Sunrise team is live covering the rest of the storylines heading into round one. Katrina Irwin is at Oak Hill. First, we start with Jatyra Marsh, where everyone is at MCC in Brighton, parking, getting on the shuttles to the course. Jatyra. Brennan, good morning. I'm here with Melvin Scott, who is also working the event. Could you tell me, uh, is this your first event that you've been working? Yes, uh, golfing event is my first event, yes. And how's it been so far? How's the shuttle service? How's the parking? Oh, the shuttle service is great. The parking has been pretty good. Um, the people have been nice. Uh, it's just it's just been a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. So uh, are, are you looking forward to seeing anyone? Um, I wouldn't even know who some of them were. But um, I'm looking forward to the event itself. I think it's great for the community. I think it's great for Rochester. So for that, I think it'll be something nice to bring us together. And the, the weather's supposed to be nice, so it gets everybody out. What do you think events like this bring to the Rochester area? Um, it just It's a positive thing, man. With all the negative going on in the world, you need some positive. I think this is a positive event. Um, and I, I, like, I do like a, a Zach, what's his name? Zach Tom, Tom, Thomas? Um, so I like to see like a little no no name person win it, and my boy Tiger Woods in here. So I like to see somebody like that win it. And how long are you working? Um, I'm just here working the event. And so when it's over Sunday, I'll be done Sunday. All right. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You, you have guys, a great day. You guys have a great day. Too. <laughs> That's all we have for you. I want to toss it back to you, Brennan. As you see, everyone is getting up on the bus. <laughs> everyone getting going. Busy time there. Let's get you now to Oak Hill grounds themselves. And Katrina, once again, good morning. Good morning, Brennan. Yeah, same story here. A lot of people hanging out behind me. They've gotten here to the course, but they can't actually go out on the course for probably another two hours or so. So we're outside of the merchandise tent and a lot of people hanging out here doing a little shopping in the meantime. Uh, we're talking about volunteers this morning and one of them is joining us now. This is Craig Thomas who helps bring the families of the players and maybe sometimes the players around the course. Tell me a little bit about why you decided to volunteer. I, I decided to volunteer because I'm in the golf big time. And my dad was a big golfer, all right? Uh, he was the club manager here for 10 years. And so, of course, that was, a, you know, another reason. But I just enjoy uh, doing it. I, I, it's like being at any sporting event, right? You just, you know, and being in contestant transportation is what I'm doing. 
I get to talk to some of the pros and their wives and their family members, and then I get to meet other volunteers too. So that you know, I enjoy doing that as well. Now you came all the way from Virginia to volunteer for yeah. this event. Yeah, yeah. I've been to Michigan twice now for the Senior PGA. Uh, I was in. Uh, I did Kiowa Island in South Carolina last year. I think it was last year. I lose track. I did Beth Page Black. Uh, I did the senior PGA here in 2019. Um, so yeah, I, I I just enjoy doing it. I know I know several of the PGA staff members now. Of course, they know me. So you know we get along, and they're you know I'm glad to see them every year. Uh, Kenny uh, is in charge of contestant transportation, and I'm in. I haven't seen him since 2019 when he was in charge here of volunteers. So it's nice. It's nice meeting getting back and meeting people that I've known for a while. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. One of 3,500 volunteers that are needed to make the PGA Championship a success. So a big effort out here, and we're going to send it back to you now, Brendan. All right, Katrina, thank you. Lifelong memories there for everyone. We are just getting started with our championship coverage today. We'll have that throughout our broadcast at noon and in the afternoon. And then PGA Championship tonight. Highlights from round one, the top of the leaderboard, what the players are saying, and the rest of the headlines heading into Friday right here at 7. Interesting to see the number of kids at the PGA Championship despite school still being in oh, session. Oh, skipping <laughs> out a little bit, getting a pass. I th I'm thinking that may be the case for some kids. Uh, for most of them, though, it's jacket in the morning, short sleeves in the afternoon. Make sure your kids bring home their jackets that they probably do need out there. It's yeah. chilly. A lot of spots right around 32. Eight-day forecast. Tomorrow is going to be really hard to pay attention in school. Upper 70s there. So a gorgeous way to finish off the weekend. Saturday, we're still circling it. Tracking the rain showers to start off the weekend. Oh, a lot of fun this morning. Glad to have you waking up with us here at News 8 at Sunrise. Our next update in half an hour. CBS Mornings coming your way. Follow News 8 wherever you are on RochesterFirst.com, Facebook, Twitter, and on our app for news and weather.